and welcome back. I hope that you are doing super good. Um, I haven't got my seat position quite right today. So I hope you guys are doing super, super good this week. Now, what we are going to be doing is, I've written it down, what thoughts are they hiding from you? So we're going to be using our psychic detective heads and have a look at the person that you're thinking about, their energy and what it is that they are specifically hiding from you. What thoughts about you are they hiding? So, just to let you know that this reading could show both uh, the light side and the shadow side. So if you are easily triggered or anything like that, just a little bit of advance warning. I'm not sure what the cards are going to say, but I do want you to just be aware of that. Um, and if you are feeling in a place where you might feel a little bit more vulnerable at the moment, this could potentially not be the right reading for you. So um, you can find one that's a little bit more lighthearted. So what thoughts are they hiding from you? This is deck number one and this is deck number two. So I want you to pick the deck that you are most drawn to. This one here is the Light Seer's Tarot and this one here is the Spacious Tarot. So I haven't used it for a while, but we're going for very kind of more, more pretty design decks today. Um, so go to the deck that you'd like, number one number two and let's go so this is for all my deck number ones this is about you and your person or the person that you're asking about and let's see what thoughts they are hiding from you so here we go just going to get into the collective energy of all your people so going through your energy into your people that you're asking about energy um, and if you need me for a personal reading i am doing voice note readings for 10 pound a question on instagram facebook with the same day return at the moment um and I've also got spaces for video readings, so just give me a shout. You can just Instagram me, Mr. Love Tarot, or uh, email mrlovetarot at gmail.com. So, what thoughts is your person you're asking about hiding from you? Let's see what comes up. So, Spirit is telling me to just stop at three cards. So, we're going quite... Oh, these two are jumping out together, so we'll have them. Spirit is saying three, the cards are saying, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. So I might end up pulling some more, but at the moment we're going to be stopping at the three, but the two jumped out together. So what are they hiding from you? Your person and you are having a rebirth of the connection at this moment in time. So you might have found uh, things have been a little bit difficult recently. You might have felt that you've been tied to your person and that they've been tied to you or they've been tied to circumstances that has stopped the situation moving forward. But now your cards are saying that there is action coming up. Okay, so you have got cards of action and rebirth between you guys. Things are moving, things are shifting, things are changing, things are transforming. So when we were going to look at their thoughts and what they aren't telling you, what they are hiding from you, they are hiding that they want this connection to rebirth, to have a second go or a third go or a fourth go or a fifth go, depending where you're at. They want the connection to happen again. They want to open their doors of communication if you guys aren't speaking and they want this the, the general resurrection of the connection between the two of you, rising from periods of ghosting, rising from periods of the... the I'm going to say the dead, but rising through like times where it's been in a bit of hibernation, they are hiding from you their thoughts that they want this to con this connection to start again. Um, and I just got with that um, Begin Again by Taylor Swift. It's actually one of my favourite songs because um, when I was going for a really difficult point and I met my husband that I'm with, my husband, I met my husband, um, <laughs> that song Begin Again was one that kind of really hit home and it really pulled some chords on me. Um, and it's one of my favorite songs when I listen to it now, it just brings back a load of happy memories. And this is kind of where you guys are, you know, there is this rebirth of the chapter between the two of you and you can start again, no matter what happened with people in your past, you have got the chance of rebirth going on here. So the thoughts towards you straight away, the hidden thoughts are, I wanna take action towards you. I want the situation to begin again. Okay, so no matter what your history is with them, there's rebirth. Now, the other two things that they're hiding from you, from their thoughts, is you've got the Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands. So we have this passionate energy coming up first and foremost, okay? This is them having quite conflicted energy over the situation with you. So like I said, with the rebirth, it could be stuff that's happened in their past where they have been very, very conflicted by people, by situations, by circumstances, by heartbreak. And they have been burdened 
by this okay so they are trying to think of a way to reach out to you they were trying to find a way to connect with you their head is a little bit battered and bruised because they don't know how to progress the situation forward they just know they want to talk to you again they just know they want to speak to you if you guys have had arguments that have led to where they where you are or if you guys have kind of just been at a stalemate and nothing is happening, they are conflicted over this because they are feeling burdened by the situation, okay? So there's been this element of tension in their thought process. There's that tension and there's that um, heavy burden on their shoulders about it. So the other thoughts that they are hiding from you, if they've just gone ghost and you think they've disappeared, please do not think that they're not thinking about you. They are thinking about you. They are burdened by the way the situation has turned out. They are conflicted in the heart and the head over it. Their heart is trying to tell them, yeah, reach out. Their head is saying, no, 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 stuff from the past. It could rear its head again. Bad things could happen. Protect, protect, protect. So they've got that conflicting energy that's happening here. But overall, what they want is they want the connection to rebirth, which is pretty cool, okay? So just to recap, their overall thoughts for you that are hidden from you, hidden from plain sight, spirit I'll say, is they are burdened by the situation at the moment and a little bit conflicted in their head and their heart. They've got issues from the past that they're worried about could rear their head, so they're on a little bit of self-defense and a little bit of self-protect okay conflicting energy that is burdening them stuff that's happened with you guys before they're trying to find a way to open up the doors to communicate with you again and if there are birthdays or things like that that are coming up this is going to be a prime time for them to reach out to you if you're not in contact it's going to open up the doors for that level of communication coming in and from that, you've got the movement, you've got the action, and you've got the resurrection of the connection. So they want the situation to resurrect. They're missing you. They want to speak to you. They want to enjoy contact with you. And even if you guys are speaking, they're still missing you and they still want to rebirth the connection and have contact with you. They're just burdened on how to do it. And that's step number one. So that's pretty positive. That was a, that was a positive one. I like that. I like that. Right, let's do deck number two for my little munchers over here. So deck number two, as you know, unless you're new, um, we work on the collective energy between you all. So we're going to go into all your energies, all your people, think about them. And we're just going to connect with their energies, so your collective energy. Um, and we're going to do what thoughts are they hiding from you? So what thoughts are deck number two's people hiding from them? What thoughts are that number two, people? We. Okay. So I'm getting a song. I'm Claire Audience, which means I get a lot of music. So it's almost like a radio dial in my right ear. So we kind of tune in and it's like different frequencies. And if people ask me what it's like, it's almost like, you know, when the church bells are ringing in the background um, and you don't really pay attention to them unless you stop and focus. That is what I, it, what Claire audience is like. That's it. And it normally comes through my right ear if it's higher dimensional being. So this will be like um, ascended masters, angels, all that jazz. Um, and in my left ear is your closer spirit guide. So um, and ancestors and those that have walked before you okay just so you know now what's coming through my right ear is the um Fleetwood Mac song say you will say you will say you will give me one last chance please give me time to change your mind that song now you have to forgive my singing I was not gifted with the vocal cords I was gifted with the vocal cords of a seagull <laughs> So you have to forgive the singing, but if you haven't listened to that song, you can really understand where your person is at, and that is their hidden thoughts towards you, first and foremost. Okay, so you guys are probably in a bit of a stalemate situation, and we have got this hot and cold energy coming on as well. So either physically you guys are, he's, your, your person is growing hot and cold with you, or it's just this kind of difference in your energies at the moment, you're not quite aligning where they are and what their thoughts are so let's let me show you you've got a five of cup corpse five of cups that sounds like a scouse five of cups well no i'm stoked i'm stoked not scouse i'm near i'm near liverpool but not that close um five of cups corpse temperance my least favorite card I, I hate to offend temperance with that but it is and the nine of wands okay so these cards are cards that cause a little bit of ick 
these are cards they're not awful ick but there is a little bit of ick so when spirit are giving you that song to begin with it's like your person has this sense of regret they have this sense of remorse there might be a little bit of guilt coming up and they are wanting to have another chance with you okay so that's where their thoughts are to begin with now let's talk about the ick because these are ick your person has is feeling quite tired of the situation they're feeling quite withdrawn from the situation and they're feeling quite challenged by the situation they know that they haven't handled this connection very well with you and that is where their sense of guilt remorse and regret are coming into your into your reading okay so they know that they haven't handled things very well and because of that they don't know how to move things forward for you and them so what they're doing is just sitting there feeling really sorry for themselves and having a good old sob over it all so a sense of regret remorse and how they've been feeling about this all feeling sorry for themselves and i just saw um you know a, a person sitting kind of in a cave and it was like tears running down his face and that is where they're feeling they're feeling lonely they're feeling isolated and they're feeling sad um, about how things have worked out with you and even though they are probably the ones that have caused this knowing it takes two hands to cut but they are probably the ones that have caused this that is where they are largely conflicted they were like on the self-defense over it all okay so they were feeling really battered and bruised and wounded feeling like the situation was just going nowhere or it was getting difficult so they probably cut you away or did whatever they did and that has caused this conflict in them Okay, now with temperance popping up over here, this is, oh, temperance is going for a run. Um, this is the alchemy between you guys. So at the moment, things are tough, things are tough and things are tough in their thoughts. The alchemy between the two of you, the hot, the cold, the trans transgression of emotions and feelings can meet in the middle. It can meet in the middle, but let's see what's going to cause it to meet in the middle. So what's next for deck number two? What's going to cause, what's going to happen next? So you guys might be doing some manifestation work. You also might be doing some magic. And if you do need me for any kind of druid stuff, just let me know. I am a druid priestess um, and I do do magic. So if you do need me for some, some little bit of magic, if goddess say it's okay, I have to work with the old gods and they have to okay me for doing specific types of magic for you. But if I can do it and it's of love and it's of light, then we can help. Um, so you've got your energy in this kind of fear-based emotion now what's quite interesting here is with spirit talking about magic and talking about manifest manifestation it's almost like if you surrender the situation it can come back round again and i just got the song coming around again and i can't remember who sang that it's an old one coming around again. baby sneezes mummy teases or something like that it's the song and um, so the situation can come back round again it's not all hope is lost it is a bit complicated. It is difficult. Um, the overall outcome for you guys, let's just go there. What's the overall outcome for deck number two? So we've got victory coming in at the end of it. So what these cards are suggesting that if you help to surrender the situation, um, if you need a manifesting plan as well, do let me know because we talk about surrendering in them and they are written just for you, tailored to you. If you surrender the situation, it can come back round, okay? And I know it is the hardest part of manifesting, manifesting. And people, you know, I was talking talking to someone the other day, talking to one of my subscribers the other day, and she said, I don't understand it. I can manifest loads of things into my life, but the one thing I want, I can't get. And I was like, that's because things that you aren't attached to, you can release and surrender. When you are attached to a specific thing, um, you don't, allow the universe to navigate around you and there is this universal law of space that once space is created it has to be matched with something equal to or more than so if you surrender and release a situation that creates space for the universe to navigate around you and that is where the magic lies with this connection the more you surrender and release it the quicker it's going to come back around to you OK, and um, so just bear that in mind. And when I'm saying surrender, I'm not saying forget about it. I'm not saying, you know, just pretend it's not happening. I'm not saying that it's simply releasing the emotions where you can. It's not easy. It isn't easy. But there are certain tips and tricks we can give you if you need them. So just drop me a message. Uh, Mr. Love at gmail.com. 
so yeah the overall outcome is more positive once the situation has kind of been surrendered a little bit it needs a bit of healing time spirit saying to me as well a little bit of healing time so overall their hidden thoughts from you let's talk about this there is regret remorse sorrow sadness um bit of self-defense bit battered bit knackered from the situation thinking about you a lot um and unsure where the situation is going to go that's what their hidden thoughts are about you where it is going to go from here is with that transition with that alchemy of you releasing and surrendering the situation you can get your victory here of re-establishing the connection reuniting whatever it is that you want but it's going to take a little bit of work of not putting work in <laughs> So if you need me, just drop me a message, mrlovetaro at gmail.com. I love you all lots and I will speak to you soon. Ciao, ciao.